come in. Morning. Morning. So do you feel any better? Nothing the shed can't fix. In the shed. Trusty shed. Mm. About last night though. Mm. It was just a kiss. Sort of. I mean it meant nothing though, did it? Emotions running high, one thing led to another. We were just we were just so tense, so emotional, but I will move out if you want me to, if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, if that's okay. That's fine. I don't want you to move out. Okay, good. So are we doing this then? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. The shake. We'll do the shake. This means it's, it's really serious. official. Yeah. yeah. Serious. That hand doesn't come out that often. <laughs> <laughs> Not often, oh, God. no. No. Um, good, because I have one condition. Okay, I will wear boxes when you have guests around. I just like the freedom it gives me when I'm wearing pyjamas. I mean, no one would mind if you wore pyjamas, because everyone likes pyjamas, but thank you. That was not my condition, though. Okay. So, I know you hate showing nice emotions. Yeah. But I would like to show you nice emotions on a regular basis, okay? Okay. I will squirm like a mum watching a son strip. Right. Great. <laughs> and also, I'd like to sh- you to show some nice emotions to me. Oh, can't I just nod at you? No. What? What? Yeah. No, I'm not going to get what I need from that. Okay. Uh, showing nice emotions is really difficult without also wanting to punch myself in the face. I must never show weakness. Must always be alpha. Alpha. So alpha. So alpha. I'm super alpha. You know this. Yeah, do I? Yeah. I've never seen you be particularly alpha in any situation. I'm doing but... it right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, out of two. Me yeah, and you. exactly. Just because you know I'm also quite alpha, so you're finding it quite difficult. I'm not finding it difficult. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, okay? <laughs> I just find it difficult. Right. But yes, it would be nice for you to show some nice emotions. Okay. I'll try. But I'm not promising anything. Okay. Because last time I promised something, I had to break it. I promised not to kill that man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for telling me directly instead of just putting it in a Facebook post and for me to read mm. or writing it in blood and bathroom mirror. I don't do that anymore. I've never seen anyone need milk more and I really respect that you needed a reminder. It but don't a, do it again. Yeah, it was a lot of blood, wasn't it? It was so much blood. I'm fine though. Yeah. Slightly anemic. Actually, that's lack of iron, isn't it? I thought that meant you're really cold. <laughs> oh my god, you don't know anything. <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can't escape now. We've no, shook hands. I can't. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? So this is totally a date. We're doing it. It's happening. Yeah, it is. High five. Yep. Yeah. This is weird. Yeah, but what kind of weird? Like a bad weird? Oh no, we just called it a date, so... So, what do we do? Eat with our hands. Done deal. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 if it isn't my favourite customer. Isn't she brilliant? I really recognise you, don't I? I, Are you an actor? Like moi? What are we having? What can I get you? Food. Trust Kate, she has a brilliant food palette. Sorry, I've got. I re- I do. I do recognise you from something. What is it? TV. It's something telly. Telly. The small screen, but big performances. Because I remember that. If you're a bloody television star in this restaurant, I'm gonna have to get you to do me a little autograph. How much is she paying you? <laughs> Not enough. I'm, I'm kidding. It's a good amount. Um, all right, let's get you guys something to eat. Something to gobble down. What are we having? Starters. Starting off with a starter. Or are we going for a main? Jumping straight for a main. Or. Coming for just a cheeky little sweet thing, dessert. Premature ejaculation. That's it. It's the advert. Come on, a little early. That is it, isn't it? <laughs> that's huge. That's huge respect. Thank you for that. I bet that paid 
quite well, didn't they, for a little TV job, eh? They were going to pay me more, but they came up short. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your designated joke for that advert? Yep. <laughs> That's good. So you're coming, and how's the book How's the book going? Really good, thanks. I have a meeting with a publisher next week. Fantastic. That's good. Mm, thanks. Yeah, I'm excited and sweaty. Okay. Mm. She's so clever, isn't she? Aww. The rare sunshine, isn't she? Just sitting there, having dinner, about to tuck in. Uh huh. Really, it's fine. You really don't have to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, isn't she great, though? <laughs> So, I'll have the spaghetti, please. I'll get the barbecue ribs with a side of milk steak. Ooh, cool. Delicious. Thank you. Cheers. Hang about, look at this. Little actor, this very table coming on TV. Get him to give me a cool flex, then. Okay, let's be back in a sec. I hate this restaurant so much. I love this restaurant. <laughs> Do you feel really uncomfortable? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you look at it, you've gone bright red. Shut up. <laughs> I used to say linguo and... Hello, how'd it go? Really good. They clap loads at the end. Well, that's good. That's good. They also burnt my book, so, you know, mixed messages. Mm. But I think they really liked it overall and they want to keep working with me, so. Well done. That's great. Thank you. Well done in there. Thank you, Amy. Oh, I despise you on a personal level, but you do write good stuff. Thank you. Um, Amy, this is Ryan. It's good to meet you. Yeah, same. Let's go get ice cream. Yes. Thank you again, Amy. Thank you. So, I really want a chocolate chip. I don't care. Dick! Thanks, Dead Inside, for that interesting report on international dogging spots. You can do this. Thanks. And now our next Although the only reason why I'm here is because they couldn't get any of the other actors in. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> it is, they told me outside. Ah. Uh, well, just see it as the opportunity. Don't think about why you're here. Now for today's celebrity interview. Poor and Peace has been described by critics as the future of anthropomorphic cinema, the Mozart of dog detective films, and bad. We have one of the main actors here with us today, Ryan Lawrence Woodhull. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Is it just so great having a king size bed? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was conceived in this room, but uh, it's nice to be able to starfish. Oh yeah, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Not because I need the space, because mm. usually I sleep in like a ball shape, but because my feet are insanely cold like all the time. Look, feel. <gasps> Jesus Christ, they're like ice! Mm. Who cursed you? Don't know, but um, sometimes they go blue and it's actually quite cool, you know, it's quite like photographic. Yeah, it's like, kind of like, like the sexiest conversation I've ever had. Wait till I tell you about my night terrors then. <laughs> oh. Stuff what happens st there. Oh, yeah. What stuff? stuff Don't stuff. tell me. Oh my god, yeah. Don't save it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about you saying that. No, I won't say it again. But it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Isn't it just perfect, though? You and me, now, together. Yeah, I mean, the accent is. Well, the accent's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mm. But all we have to do now is, like, live out our lives together. You know, floral hats, fancy shoes, white picket fence. Strong look. <laughs> Not freaking you out, am I? No. Okay, great, because I've put... All of our, like, life plans in a folder. Like this. Right. I <laughs> know, I'm just kidding. This is my tax return folder. <laughs> I don't even know about tax, but I have a folder. This is my perfect relationship folder. Okay. Do you want me to proceed? No. Okay, well, I will anyway. Number one. We live out in this house for a bit. And then we're no longer seen as millennials, which means that we might be able to afford a house. I'm not sure that's how it works. And then we move to the country and get a house there, but near a train station for convenience of you being able to go to London for your castings and whatever. And for me to do writing 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Number three, we've lived there for a while and then Rex dies, Rex being our dog. And because we've acquired so many good parenting skills, having had a three-legged dog, we then have loads of kids. Like kid after kid after kid, like so many kids. And I have like a list of names if you want to hear them. But yeah, that's the plan. Okay? Uh, yep. I'm just kidding. These are like doodles that I did at uni. <laughs> Obviously Rex wouldn't die before we had kids. Just kidding again. <laughs> yeah, this is just stuff I did at uni. Okay. So I haven't freaked you out. No. Okay, good. That settles that then. Yeah. Good night. Night. Um. Okay, no, don't spoon me. Okay. No. They don't call me the knee breaker for nothing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I love you, George Bush. I was looking for you. Good to know you're okay. <clears throat> oh, I didn't think you'd be up. It's 2 p.m. Yep. shaking and you smell weird yeah well I, I decided to run back for the adrenaline and the positive energy but I'm just tired and I've got a stitch right I need to say something to you and it's gonna sound really weird well anything coming from you does so go ahead I try really hard to be the alpha which is why I'm so physically strong I guess when my dad died, I felt as if it was my duty to become the big boy of the house. That wasn't supposed to be the weird bit. What's going on? Well, um, last night I thought a lot about my previous relationships and how I didn't want us to be anything like them. So I am now going to take a step back from my incredibly unhealthy but rigid mindset and talk about my insecurities even though it makes me feel really uncomfortable I mean my tongue feels weird is that normal is that you don't have to I do I do but well, I've come prepared <sighs> despite what people say I don't actually have a bad taste in women. I have good taste in women. I just turn them bad because I don't know how to communicate with them and I don't want to ask how because that would make me seem weak. Um, oh. 
I can't help but feel distant towards people because everyone I've ever known wanted something from me other than just my friendship. My mum, my stepdad, my brother, my ex, even my best friend, they all wanted something from me. But when I look at you, I can't think of anything, anything that you would want in return for your niceness to me. I would get so annoyed at you sometimes, not because of anything you had done, but because I couldn't figure out what you wanted from me, and when you made it abundantly clear that all you wanted from me was me, I mean, I've never really felt special before. <laughs> I've never felt as if I deserved to feel special. But when I would say things like that, you would tell me off, and that would make me think. God, you're bossy. And maybe you're right. Maybe I do deserve something nice. Maybe I do deserve someone nice like you. Someone who is so happy and pleasant and funny. Someone like you who has such a wonderful personality and bum. To me, I'm not the person you think I am. But I want to be that person one day. Because you deserve it. I forgot how it looks. Sorry, sorry, I was, I was distracting. I was just, okay. Don't do that again. Hello. Uh, life without you terrifies me. Tea? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yes. Oh, um, Jamie wants us to go to the restaurant near here so we can meet his boyfriend. Oh, you mean the one who yeah. cheated on that, on yeah. him, or the other guy? It, it, I mean, no, it was, it was a long track record of oh, cheating. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. He's a good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Um, Tragic. They serve vegan steak there. Do they? Well, they do. I don't know why I did that accent, but they do do that. That's, that's really good to know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll order that. Can we pre-order? I'll order that if we can. I don't know when we're going, but okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll just let them know. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Ryan? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, look, I know we haven't been together that long, but I just want you to know that you make me really happy and however long we last, I think these will be some of my favourite memories. Cool. Yep. Too soon? Eh? Hey? What? Uh. <laughs> okay. So have we got any bourbons? No. Ah, oh, shame. Oh, what? What? What about a rich tea? I can't hear you! Kettle! <laughs>